Okay, I call this one the tail between two um, CB radio vintage uh, sweep tube linear amplifiers um, from the 70s. Um, comparing this uh, BLJ500 uh, versus the infamous Palomar 300A. They are pretty similar amps in a lot of ways. The uh, BLJ500, even though they call it a 500, it is one driving four. Uh, 12 pin compact tron sweep tubes, uh, basically 6LF6 tubes. Um, one driving four, whereas the infamous Palomar 300A uses the same tubes, and this one is two driving four. It's interesting that you know they run off about the same voltage and uh, the same power. If not, the 300A I think will put out actually a little bit more power than the uh, BLJ, um, basically because of the, the having two drivers instead of the BLJ with one driver. But you know, uh, people want more watts and they'll spend more money when you know uh, they advertise the amp as um, higher power. You know, I've seen, you know, three, four, five hundred watt amplifiers advertised as KW, you know, sweep tube and even the Pry KW1. Um, nothing but a highfalutin uh, DX300 without a key in circuit or automatic key in circuit. And uh, it's high drive instead of low drive. The DX300 is a much better amp. Uh, you know for CB use illegal CB use but anyway uh, people want the KW specifically because it says KW KW got to do more watts than the 300 but anyway back to these um, even if you look at the switch layout you know power switch operate standby um, power switch over here operate standby then the next two their uh, preamp high low AMSSB where this one has high low AMSSB preamp right so they kind of reversed the last three but basically the same kind of layout I do like the bigger cabinet of the uh, BLJ um, the BLJ the meter uh, reads uh, plate current only and the um, the 300A uh, the meter reads relative output um, the knobs on top you got uh, plate tune and plate load and then you got driver tune that's not a, a drive where it, it adjusts the variable um, it's not supposed to be used that like that you always want to adjust the uh, tune and load and that's just a driver tune uh, for max output but why they call it that again I don't know they probably to get your money because you think it's a variable but uh, no that's a driver tune cap and on here on the um, 300A you got your tune and load you got a band switch and supposedly it had the uh, 15 20 40 meter bands even though experts uh, better than me have you know said that they couldn't get them to work right uh, so pretty much in there for show to get past the FCC, you know, at the time cracking down on CB amps, so uh, CB amp manufacturers started putting in, you know, different ham bands um, and started saying, hey, this is not a CB amplifier, even though it's made for, you know, four watts drive and it'll work on CB on the 10 meter thing. It's not a CB amplifier. This is a ham amateur radio amplifier. Look at that. It's got uh, 15, 20, 40. Uh, meter bands in it and if you look here you know that's the uh, 10 meter um, tank coil there at four turns again and then over here is the um, coils for the 15 20 40 80 meter bands and same with the driver uh, tubes over here all that coil uh, is for all them ham bands so they can say hey nope this ain't no CB amp this is an amateur radio amp, but later the FCC tightened the rules and just made it illegal to sell an amplifier um, that had 10 meters in it at all. And you'll see a lot of the ham band, band amps toward 80 and after um, have 15 through uh, 80 meters and, and no 10 meters at all.
Um, but anyway, um, the reason the 300A, in my opinion, is considered one of the best sweet tube amps ever made, and the BLJ, uh, I would say it's on the opposite end of that, um, is, a, is a couple reasons. For one, that one driver tube is going to be hurting trying to push those um, four um, tubes there. You know, some amps do have, you know, one driver tube, but two will push them more easily. Um, if you drive this amp normally with four watts or even a little, you know, with a more powerful radio, you're going to kill that tube because um, you got four watts going into one tube and uh, it's trying to push these four. I think the better design is to have two, you know, the normal design, two driving four uh, with grounded grid sweep tube amps. So that's one reason I like the um, Palomar 300A. One thing I do like about the BLJ is that the driver tune is on the front, whereas the driver tune for the um, 300A is on the back there. And it even has on it a uh, tune for maximum output, right? So again, it's, it's written right there. Always, you know, I always say tune for maximum output. I guess they probably had problems with people who were tuning the amps down uh, that hurts them uh, another reason I like the uh, 300A a lot more is that on low power it bypasses the driver tubes so on low power the, the watts are going straight to the final so on low you can drive this you know with maybe uh, 75 maybe even 100 watts um, you can drive it with that only on low. If you do that on high, you're going to kill this little thing. But on the BLJ500, the high and low, just the low just puts resistance in the cathode. You know, it's grounded grid. It just puts some resistance in there to cut down on the power. So the, the BLJ is low drive only. Another reason that uh, definitely goes to the 300A is it has a tuned input. So you can tune down the SWR and the harmonics and all that, make your radio or driver going into the amp happy with that tuned input, whereas the BLJ does not have a tuned input, um, and it really doesn't even swamp the, uh, the uh, input down so it'll have a good input SWR on it. So uh, definitely the um, check mark will go to the 300A on that. And last, even though the uh, 300A does have the tubes mounted to circuit boards, little small circuit boards under there, which I don't like, at least we could take the bottom cover off of this and we could get to all that. Easy to change out parts and work on for the most part. It's got its quirks, but a lot easier. Whereas the tubes on this one are mounted to one big circuit board and you can't get to it underneath it. Uh, can't get to that right so if I gotta change a component on that circuit board I know what it is I know what's bad you know a, a, a driver cap is bad or something on that circuit board you gotta get in there and um, unless you're just gonna rig a part in there you gotta get in there and unscrew and unsolder and disconnect a whole bunch of stuff to get that circuit board out and that ain't no fun they even got the fan mounted to the circuit board like yeah so um even though this is not a bad amp it's got uh two transformers originally they were in series and one of them went bad so replaced these with um transformers from a uh, phantom 500 which are more robust and all that so and they're in parallel so it shouldn't have those series problems i do not like running transformers in series there are people and one of my elmers is like it's fine he's done it all the time i don't like running transformers in series like that because you um that core you know which is grounded um you're running higher voltage through it because they're in series and um they just don't like it um, i've had much better luck you know with um, transformers in parallel or a single transformer and hence the um, 300A has a more robust actually pretty re robust transformer for a um, little 300 watt 
you know amplifier both of these amplifiers that do about 350 bird about 500 peak it's just I like the uh, build quality the um, input tuning the high low you know the way that operates and then the true two driver tubes versus one driver tube you know on the BLJ and again if something goes wrong with that BLJ on that circuit board um, you know sure it can be repaired but you're gonna probably lose a half an hour maybe an hour total you know taking that board out you know and then changing your little part and then putting it all back together and then after you do that hope it works where on the uh, 300 a that's you know take the cover off the bottom you can get to everything pretty much and uh, easy peasy right so again uh, some people don't like sweep tube amps however if you look at the ham amp uh, reviews like on eham of the uh, sweet tube amplifiers uh, that were made like a Maritron uh, LA amp made one uh, Dentron GLA 1000 um, they all got very good ratings from the hams you know and they're basically all grounded grid amps except the CB ones you add the uh, driver tubes and a key in circuit so I think um, all the hate that comes from sweep tube amplifiers for the most part is just hater aid anyway that's gonna be it for these two um, about the same watts 300 bird 500 peak 4 watt drive but my uh, favorite again is the um, 300A alright that's it for this bye